This video is a high-level overview of the Bright Pearl to Amazon integration. What we'll do is we'll work through this graphic to show you how it all works. The first column here we've got the Amazon buyer, which is your customer, and then we've got the Amazon seller, which is you, and then on the right hand side you've got your Bright Pearl software. So the Amazon buyer places an order, they pay for the order, they get an order confirmation email, and then when you ship it they get an order dispatched email, and then finally at the end they take delivery of the goods. So for you the process starts by listing items on Amazon. Once they're listed on Amazon and a customer buys them, you get a pending order. That order only becomes ready when the payment has been authorised. Then you fulfil and ship it, and then that becomes a shipped order in Amazon. Amazon release the funds, and then about two weeks later those funds are transferred into your bank account. So how does that work with Brightpearl? First of all we'll list the item on Amazon. What you then do is you download those Amazon listings into Brightpearl and either connect them to existing products or create new Brightpearl products for those items. You then subsequently manage the inventory levels of those items in Brightpearl and Brightpearl will tell Amazon the right inventory levels. So as soon as a customer has an order ready, in other words the payment has been authorised, it's downloaded into Brightpearl as a new order. Any available inventory is allocated to this order which means it's not available for other sales channels. You then fulfill and ship this order in Brightpearl, and Brightpearl tells Amazon that the order has been shipped. Amazon then tells the customer that the order has been dispatched. Once you've fulfilled and shipped your order in Brightpearl, we recommend that you invoice it. A couple of weeks later, when you actually receive the funds from Amazon, we get a payments report sent to Brightpearl automatically, and this is the point at which the sales receipt is created against the Amazon order and any fees are allocated into your accounting system. So to make this all work, you need to do a few things. First of all, you need to connect your Amazon Marketplace to Brightpearl, and there are three steps involved with that. There's also a dedicated video to show you how that works. The next thing you need to do is link your Amazon inventory, which we call Amazon Listings, to Brightpearl products, and again, there's a separate video for that. Then, when the orders start coming in, you fulfil and ship them using Brightpearl, and then finally you invoice them in Brightpearl. And again, there are videos for each of these. And finally, I'll cover a few FAQs. People often ask if you can connect multiple marketplaces to one Brightpearl account, and yes, absolutely, no problems there. You can also sell on foreign currency marketplaces. So if you're a UK merchant, you can sell on Amazon France, Amazon Germany, Amazon US, and so on. Brightpearl can manage your Amazon inventory levels and or prices, or neither, so you can set up each marketplace to have inventory managed from Brightpearl or not, and likewise to have prices managed from Brightpearl or not. So if you wanted to use a separate repricing tool, you could do so. So Brightpearl doesn't automatically monitor other merchants' prices. It simply sends the prices you upload into Brightpearl up to Amazon. You can't currently use Brightpearl to create new Amazon listings, so we recommend you do that in Amazon. If you use the right SKU, it will automatically link to the right Brightpearl product. And then when the payment report comes down to Brightpearl, all the Amazon fees are recorded in your Brightpearl account against the relevant sales channel, so you can check your profitability. And that takes us to the end of the overview of the Amazon integration.